Welcome back to Getting Started with Figma. In the two previous videos, we learned how to create and use components and styles. If you haven't watched those videos yet, be sure to go back and watch them first. You'll find links to them in the video description. When designs or project requirements change, we may need to update our styles and components. When we do, we might want each design file where they're used to stay up to date. When working with a larger team, it's also useful for each team member to have access to the same default components and styles to keep your designs consistent. Figma's team library is the perfect solution for these scenarios. Styles and components live in the files in which they're originally created. To reuse them across your files and projects, you can publish them to your team library. Publishing styles is available if you have a free starter team. To publish your components, the file will need to belong to a project within a professional team or organization plan. We've already upgraded this team to a professional plan, so we'll be able to publish components alongside our styles in this video. Now let's see how it works. In the components video, we showed how to find your components from the assets tab above the layers panel. Within the assets tab, we see a book icon. Clicking on this opens the team library window. At the top of the window is a button to publish this file, along with its components and styles, to a new team library. After clicking the button to publish, a new window appears. Whenever we publish an update to a team library, Figma will save a version of our file. If we enter a description here, it will be displayed in the file's version history. Let's just write initial library publish as the description and click publish. Figma will tell you that your library has been successfully published after a short time. Now our components and styles are ready to be used across all of our design files. Let's create a new blank file to see how it works. In this file, we can open the team library from the assets tab by clicking on the book icon. With the library window open, you can search or browse for a team library. After we found the library we're looking for, we can turn the toggle for that library to the on position to enable it. When we do, all of these components are instantly available in our assets panel on the left-hand side. With our team library published, everyone on our team can drag in instances of these components to use in any design files after enabling it. Team libraries save your designers time when they're ideating new experiences and interfaces by having all of your components only a few clicks away. But as designs evolve and UI elements are redesigned or improved, we'll want to ensure that our designs are always using the most up-to-date components. When we update components in the original source file, Figma will prompt you to publish the change to the team library. We can click on the notification to open the publishing window and publish our changes. In our other design file, we'll see a notification that updates are available. Clicking Review allows us to see what changes were made to the components currently in use. We can update individual components or click on Update All to accept all changes. Now, all of our components that are being used in this design file have been updated to the most recent versions. At a high level, that's about all that you need to know to get started using team libraries. But if you want to learn more about best practices, Check out the articles on our Help Center and the blog posts linked in the description below. In the next video, we'll demonstrate how to use Figma's live multiplayer editing to collaborate and design in real time.